the 80th running of the Indianapolis 500. This special presentation on ABC's Wide World of Sports, brought to you by Genuine Chevrolet, the cars more Americans trust. New Miller Beer, the brand new beer from Miller with big flavor that goes down easy. Goodyear, number one in tires. And Valvoline Durablend, the number one selling semi-synthetic motor oil. Here in Victory Lane, the hallowed grounds of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Buddy Lazier racked with pain, trying to lift himself right out of the car, getting the congratulations of his crew. Remember, his back looked like a hard-boiled egg smashed on the ground, so many fragments after the terrible crash at Phoenix. But his father came up and was the first to congratulate him. Another second-generation driver. His father qualified here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but now his son has found his way to winning the 80th running of the Indy 500. It's a slow process for Buddy Lazier, and I think we might literally have our first interview with the driver still sitting in the car because it is indeed so painful. Buddy, finally, a win in the Indianapolis 500. When did you begin to dream about this? Uh, before I can remember. Uh, it's just, it, right now, it, hard, it still feels like a dream. It feels like I'm going to wake up and I need to go to the racetrack to get ready to race. Well, let's conclude the rest of the dream with the ceremonial crowning of you as you stand up. You can see the pain, but this is happy pain as the Borg Warner Trophy has been placed behind Buddy Lazier and now the winner's wreath. Young man, you join an elite group now as a winner of the Indianapolis 500. Yeah, I'm sorry. Welcome to the Indy 500 Winner's Circle. So it's awesome. Awesome. Is it sunk in yet? You're awfully low-key right now. I, one would think you'd be really genuinely excited, and you're just kind of standing here with a big smile. No, it hasn't sunk in. It's not going to sink in for, I'm sure, a week or two. It's unbelievable. When you came here and saw your father compete and qualify, and I know you've got the pain, so sit back down in the car. This is truly an athletic achievement, but when you saw your father qualify, did you ever think that you would actually win the race? I don't know, you know, you dream about it and you feel like, like, like you've got some ability, but you have to have a car like, like these guys, Himmelgarn Racing, Delta Faucets, and Montana gave me a great race car. Well, congratulations. Celebrate now with the ceremonial swig of milk, and let's go back to the tower. His first IndyCar win, and it's the one that counts, the Indianapolis 500. But as he was crossing the finish line, taking the checkered, Roberto Guerrero lost control. Spins there and he gets up into the... Look at Sam Pedri. Whoa, I've never seen that red car get up like that. Into the fence, he's upside down still right there. Now he hits Salazar, he's still upside down, and it flips him back over. Unbelievable. Unbelievable accident right there. Another look at it. Here comes Guerrero, oh, he, just, he loses it. He just loses it. Whoa! Whoa. Up so high over the top of the camera. And those two guys were, look at that. The force and that just took those unbelievable accidents. Now that hit on the fence by Zampedri flipping upside down was unbelievable. This is from Salazar's car. Roberto loses it down to the left. Comes across. Look at that. Salazar literally goes under it. Look at him duck. Did you see Unbelievable. Him duck? He ducked his head. Drives under it and then is hit from behind, but that hit puts him right side up. 